and stay in the football game is to control the football with Edger and James. You take a look at his numbers. In the last five games, 12 touchdowns, 10 of those rushing, and 749 total yards. He's had a 100-yard game, all of them, in the last five games. He's reached over 100 yards. He knows how to move the football through the tackles, and he's done a nice job receiving the football as well. You see Covington here scrambling out to his right. He finds Edger and James in the near sideline against Pittsburgh a couple weeks ago. He can make him miss in the open field, whether he's catching the ball or running the football. He can make you miss, so he has to have a big day for Miami to stay close. Well, the and Scott Covington leads the Miami offense out first and ten. The give to Edger and James, pops through at the five and gets up close to the nine-yard line. The field, here is the Miami starting offense. Edger and James with five straight, 100-yard games to his credit. Among the wide receivers, Santana Moss in the absence of uh, Reggie Wayne, Andre King will get a start. Moss has not caught a touchdown, by the way, since the Florida State game. Joaquin Gonzalez this week named Big East Newcomer of the Year, Rookie of the Year, playing with a sprained left foot. We'll see how that affects him. Tight end set for the Canes is Mondrell Fulcher in there along with Bubba Franks. That's Fulcher in motion. From the eight, trap play. James will get nothing. Maybe a yard. Bruins defense, Kenyon Coleman with four and a half sacks. Also has broken up four passes from his defensive end position. We mentioned Ian Badejo in his 13 tackles for loss. He is out of the game right now. And the defensive backs, a very solid group. Jason Bell, cornerback out of Long Beach State, has broken up 14 passes. Second and five for the Hurricanes. Possession started at their four-yard line. Give to Edger and James. James to the 30. Got about seven. Seven minutes and ten seconds to go first quarter. Counterplay to James. James trying to pick his way through. Powers up to midfield. And we'll get a boss in Miami again with the double tight end. James, the solo running back. This is Edger and James on the stretch play. Got one block, spins into the UCLA territory at the 45-yard line and picked up. Big example, he had a nice block by Mondrell Fulcher, but really did a lot on his own. You see down the football field, Ty Wise doing a great job. But watch Edger right here. He's hit by two Bruins right at the line of scrimmage, and he carries him forward into. Mondrell Fulcher, the second tight end in motion. James running behind Nick Williams. Williams got it sealed off. James to the 35. Edger and James got a great downfield block, and Edger and James will score a 45-yard touchdown football. With more action, it's Edger and James from 45 yards out. With help from Andre King, it's 7-0 Hurricane. The 36 yards. Three minutes and 54 seconds, and the 45-yard uh, touchdown run from Edger and James. Well, it all starts up front. They did a terrific job of sealing the corner, and then it's Edger and James and Andre King downfield. Take a look at the block, the block and the effort down the football field. That's what you have to do when you have a back like Edger and James and James Jackson, who's not in the football game, and Nigel Davenport. They can make plays happen in the open field. You see Edger and James. He sets a new UM single-season rushing record for touchdowns with 50. First and 10, Canes at their 39. Pitch to James. James to the 40 with a stiff arm, and down he goes there. Ryan Neese making the tackle. Pitch to James. Got a good block from Williams. James puts his head down, gets to midfield, and picks up the first down as Aaron Mosier, the wide receivers, both to the bottom of the screen. And Canes with a double tight end to the right of the side of the formation. First down pass for Covington. Swings it out to James. James trying to make Marcus Anderson miss, and he did. Got a good block from Robert Hall and down to the UCLA. What the Canes have been doing early, they're making the first Bruin defender miss. You see right in the open field, Anderson has a clean shot at Edron James and whiffs. Edron James does a nice job of coming inside and getting enough yardage for the first down. He does a great job catching the football. 16 receptions, and you see Scott Covington six for six. Counterplay to James. James across the 40, got about seven yards. Eric Thomas. Edron James just doing a nice job on the counter play, letting his blocking go in front of him. See Nick Williams kicking out on the cornerback, and then it's all strength of Edron James going up the football field for a seven yard. Second quarter. Fulcher in motion. Give to James, following Damon Neely. James has a first down across the 30-yard line to the 32. Big example here, Edger and James. Watch him just tiptoe till he finds the crease right there, and then he explodes. He lets his blocking take place. Damon Neely does a nice job sealing the inside, and then James squirts through. James. James to midfield and into UCLA territory. 
Run pass, run pass. They're doing a great job mixing it up. Nice blocking at the point of the attack. Miami winning the battle at the line of scrimmage, Frank, and Edron James only needs a small because he grew up in Laguna Nigel, California, which is about 45 minutes south of L.A. Give the James on a second and two. Edron trying to turn the corner. Can't do it, and he'll be dropped down by White the middle. Lower your shoulder and cut up field. Try to get the first, not try to break it. Third and two. Pitch to James to the short side. James slices through for a first down and inside the UCLA. Four big fella at 6'1", 220. Watch him get inside and just get up in the air just a little bit to get himself through the crease, through the hole, and provide Miami with another first down. A great drive right now by the Canes. Canes have it first and 10 just inside the Bruin 44. Nine minutes, 33. First down, James again. Not much there this time. Got about a yard in the secondary. On first and 10, James, not much there. We'll squeeze out a couple of yards. It takes, and they were impressed by Joaquin, so well deserved. hearty congratulations. First and 10, there was good for a first down on the completion to King. James on the stretch play. Ran by one tackler. Edgerin still going to the 10-yard line. Edron and James up over 100 yards already in this game. Tony White, 51, has a clear shot at Edron James. He runs right by him because Edron has great vision. He just slowed up a little bit. Let Tony White run right. Formation. James on a second and goal. James with a lot of room. Edron to the five. Edron to He's the goal in. line. Touchdown. Edron James with a nine-yard touchdown run. And Richard Mercier. Edron through. James gets in. Watch the blocking at the point of attack. 62, Richard Mercier first. The fullback, Nick Williams, does a nice job. And look at Mercier That's a down game. the field, just carrying Bruins into the end zone is Edron James. As we'll take another look at Edron James' touchdown from nine yards out. We'll return on Sports Channel after this. the Canes. Well, the one thing you want to avoid here is the turnover because Miami does receive the second half kickoff. Covington gives to James on a delay. James across the 25, across the 30, has 11 yards and a first down to the top of the screen. Moss in motion. Again, to give to James. Miami going to play it conservatively. James will pick up about four. Out to the 35. You give yourself a chance to make a play. Yeah, I, I would probably would have spent the time out there and see what happens on this play, and then you go conservative on third down. Again, James, not much there. Michael Webb making the tackle as you hear the boos from the orange ball. Boy, talk about getting sport first half. That may have been a decision by Covington as well with the clock running down and them not getting people in and out. They may have just called a timeout. It is a third and three for the Hurricanes at their 38-yard line. King in motion. Short side pitch to James. James will have a first down and more as he's run down at the 49-yard line now. Have about 30 or 40 seconds left to go on this clock. Look, take a look at the uh, posse out in front of Edger and James. A lot of orange jerseys in the linemen. The linemen are 10 and 15 yards down the football field. That's a great sign. Art Kehoe. yard rushing game. So Miami from the UCLA 48, and they're going to give it to Edger and James once again and hope he can well, maybe something. get a timeout. Edger Edger go down. 30. Edger and down at the 28. There's one second on the clock. I don't think they got it stopped in time. Larry Atkins made the tackle. And now the officials are conversing, and they say the first half is history. So after 30 minutes, after two quarters of football at the Orange Bowl, the crowd here stands and applauds as Edger and James and the Hurricanes have a 21-17 lead over the number two UCLA Bruins. We'll be back with an interview with Jim Morris and the rest of our halftime activities after this on Sports Channel. But uh, then on the second down play, I think you, you come back with Edger and he's your big gun. You got to use him. James on the stretch play. They grind a couple out of it. Win with offense. Second and eight for the Kings. Again, James slipped the first tackle, but could not get by the second man, and that's only a gain of a yard. They were trying to be conservative and avoid a turnover, but they got themselves in scoring position. Here's Edger and James, who had a huge first half. Gets only two yards there. Up front could be a big play for Miami. On second and 13, James. James across the 20. James still going, shoved out of bounds. Front, Edger and James, if he breaks a tackle, he's into the secondary with maybe one man to beat to keep him out of the end zone. He just ran out of real estate on that play, but Edger and James put his head down. Motion from King. Watch out for the short side toss. Here it comes again, and it's going to be wide open for Edger and James. Just shoved at the last moment by Marquis Sanders. Down for Scott Covington to really gamble and go downfield. But right now on third and two, they get a great block on the outside again by number 84, Andre King, that really enables Edger and James to get to the outside and get the first down. Daryl Jones and Aaron Mosier, the wide receivers now. 
Williams and James, the running backs, on first and ten. Counter play to James. Good block from Williams. James will just get about a yard as he's ushered out. He's been over 30 and a lot of times in the 40s and even 50s. Second and long for Miami. Again, James. James trying to turn the corner. Stiff arms Anderson who manages to drag him down by the open field tackle of Edron James. This is this doesn't happen much to Edron James. Once he gets to the outside, he can make this usually the first man miss. That time he just gets his left hand on the back of the shoulder pads of Edron James. 31 21. James on the stretch play. Edron breaks loose. Edron to the 30. Still going and tripped up. Down at the 37 yard. The first player miss again. He does this a lot. Watch him in the backfield. He takes a deep handoff and he's following Bubba Franks. He makes the first person Mitch was his Jason Stevens, number four, the strong safety. Keeps his balance and goes down the Miami sideline for a for 30 carries, 223 yards. From the 38 on first down. Counter play to James. Good block from Bubba Franks. James to the 40 and dragged down from behind. James in the open field in the, exactly the same way. Gets him down by the back of the shoulder pads. Watch Bubba Franks right there making him turn the corner. And a nice effort by Santana Moss, but he just couldn't hold the block long enough. And that allowed Marquise Anderson. Jones and Mosier now the receivers to the top of the screen. James across midfield. And that time Tony White drilled him. Right out. A, a, a squared up number 51. He's 6'1, 220 pounds. He's a linebacker. He says, if you stop on me, I'm going to make you readjust, and I'm going to readjust you once I get you down on the ground. A nice aggressive. Third and 10 for Miami. UCLA comes on the blitz. Good pick up by James. Andre King open, makes the catch, and is down to the UCLA 20 yard line. Mark Covington, enough time to put some touch on the football. He put some air on this one. Watch the offensive of line, and Edron James steps up and gives Covington enough time to just float the football down the numbers, and King goes and gets the football before Marquise Anderson. 20. Two tight ends in the game. It's Fulcher in motion. And we give to James on a trap play. James moves the pile about three yards for a first down. And Miami's been a step away all day from sacking him. On first and ten, James bust through, picks up seven yards to the 27-yard line. Deaver and without number two tailback, James Jackson. A hamstring injury for Jackson. On second and short, James tried to skip to the outside, got away from one, got away from Anderson. And Stevens finally drags him down at the 40. Position to stop Edron James on second and three. But he was determined to get this first down. He's following Nick Williams to the outside. You see a couple Bruins miss deep in the backfield. Then Marquise Anderson misses again. And he goes down the football field for a first down. That's just terrific individual effort by number five. Montreal Fulcher in motion. James, big Huge hole. hole. James to the 50. James trying to outrun Jason Bell. And Bell will shove him out of bounds at the UCLA 23-yard line. But Edger and James now up over 200 yards on the day. Yeah, getting I.J. Davenport in there because that's a tired workhorse. Edger and James, just a huge hole. Credit the offensive line, the left side. Paul Mercier and Wise, they do a terrific job along with Bubba Franks kicking out. And James in the open field knows how to make you pay. And, and the crowd really appreciates what he's done. Number five, a spectacular run. Just breaks through with great speed. He's such a big back, and you think he's a powerful back, but when he gets in the open field, he has breakaway speed as well. 36 yards. Give to James. James through a crease. James, great move. Edron knocked down from behind by Santee. But you can thank Santee Hall if you're a Bruin fan because this is the only thing keeping Edron from gaining another 15 or 20 yards. Watch the, the right here in the back, number 95, just gets his right ankle, it looks like, and really knocks him off his feet. But what a terrific run, and, and credit this off. And you know what? He was voted all Big East by the coaches. The football knew, because the coaches selected three running backs. They picked Zeroway from West Virginia, Mike Cloud from BC, and Edger and James from Miami. The football news only chose two running backs. They made Edger and James second team behind Zeroway and Cloud. You look at the performance he's put on today, and you wonder, now, now those, granted, those are all great, great all three right, of them you're are right. great running backs. Well, I tell you what, the, the performance he's he's given the Miami Hurricanes the last five games has just been astounding. I, I, he's done a great job of giving them 
balance on offense. You know, they can really, if they load up and try to stop Edger and James, it gives Scott Covington the room to drop back and throw the football. But conversely, when, there, when there's room to run, Edger knows how to pick his holes and pick and choose where he's going. You see 37 carries for 303 and two touchdowns, and there's still 615 left to go in this football game. Edger and James, maybe his last game at the Orange Bowl. He is a junior. He's got a decision to make whether he's going to come out at the end of this year. You know, if he comes back, John, it's it's not inconceivable to think of him as a Heisman Trophy candidate. Oh, definitely. I think he would be pretty close to, you know, the top five guys coming back. But in my personal opinion, I don't, I don't think he's going to be back. First and 10 from the Bruin 30. Fake to James. Got him. Coming Wide to the rollout. Wide open. Montreal Fulcher. Touchdown, Miami. Yard line. Just a great call and a great play action fake by Covington. Take a look, you'll see Fulcher coming from the left side, goes right across the grain, and Scott Covington says, just get it there. He Gains down by three. We'll give it to James, trying to get the first down. Uh, this could turn into a really bad play. And James is gonna go down back at the Miami 46 yard line. That's just hideous on a second and one, I believe. But on a second and one, you just got to put your head down and go up the field. Well, there is nowhere, no running room at the point of attack. You give the Bruins credit. Yep. There was nowhere to run up. It, really, the best play he could have done was really just to fall, fall down, down at yep. the line of scrimmage and take a, a one. You can never assume. Williams resets. Edger and James with the pitch. Edger and James, touchdown Miami with 50 seconds left to play. Short side play again by the Kings. Just it's left to go. Miami has jumped back on top. It's 48-45. The all-important conversion from Andy Crossland. 